Yes, students. Today we will learn how to create HTML file in Notepad. So to create HTML file, first we type on the search toolbar Notepad. In the Notepad window, we will write our program. Every program is started with HTML tag. HTML tag and close with slash html if we put slash with a tag name it means this is a closing tag and as we have discussed we have two types of tags container and empty in the container tag we have on and off tag and in empty tag we have only the on tag so the whole program will be written between on and off tag between html and the slash html now we are giving title tag title tag and close with slash title between on and off tag we will give our text my first web page my first web page is the text which will be displayed on the title bar on the web browser. Now we are using third tag is body. Body does not perform any function but it has many attributes. So in this document we will use only two attributes like bg color. Remember we will not use u in the spelling of color and give the color name text is equal to color name it will change the bg color is equal to red then the background of the web page will be the red and text will be displayed in the yellow color now we are writing our simple text because it is not give it is not necessary to give formatting effects to every text so we are uh, writing the simple text. This is our first line and this is our second line. Now we are saving our file. Uh, first close body tag because this is also a container tag body slash body now to save our file first click on file and save select desktop and give your file name i am giving my file name is abc dot html we can also give htm htm or html we can give these two extension names with a file. It is mandatory to give extension with a file name. Okay, and then press on save. Now we use the minimize button. Don't press on the cross button. Click A on minimize button. Now we have the icon of our file. Click here to see the output. My first web page is displaying on the title bar and this is our text but we gave these two lines in the notepad separately but now these two lines has joined. So to display these two lines separately we go to the notepad and give br tag at the end of every line. br is an empty tag and it gives the line break after displaying this this is our first line cursor cursor will move to the next line and next time will display on the next piece. so after editing our document we have to press ctrl s and to see the output click on the browser and here we have to press f5 now these two lines are displaying separately Again, we go to the notepad. Now, now we are using heading levels. HTML defines six levels of headings. 
it it is basically used to change the font size it gives the line break and we can align our text also so first we are using h1 and uh, we are giving our text our school name sr dav public school and we are closing the tag with slash h1 now we are now i am copying this line control c first select your text press control c and control v control v now we have assigned all the levels uh, all the heading levels from h1 to h6 now we are pressing control s and we will minimize our window and go to this window here we press f5 now you can see the output h1 is displaying the largest font and h6 is displaying the smallest text now again we are going to the notepad here we will use and uh, in the output you can see all the lines are displaying separately because if we are using heading labels we don't need to give br tag at the end of the line now we are using the attributes it gives the facility to align the text so align is equal to center spelling of the center is c e n t e r and here we are using a line is equal to right and the default alignment is left so we don't need to give left alignment so we are pressing control s and now press control f uh, now press f5 now you can can see the output yes students please do the same thank you